In this lesson, we're going to take a look at what the natural logarithm is. And in order to uh, describe what the natural logarithm is, we'll do a brief description of what the number e is. And the number e is a, is the limit, is a certain limit. And uh, there's another lesson on what e is. Uh, just to show you what the number is, I'm going to bring up my graph and calculator here for a moment. On any scientific calculator, you'll see a, like an e to the x or e to the power of button. And you can use that to evaluate what e is. So if I want to know what e to the power of 1 is or e is, it's about 2.718, etc. If I want to evaluate, for example, uh, e cubed, uh, e cubed is just over 20. Okay, So e is this number 2.718, etc. It's just a little bit under 3. Now what I've graphed here, this is the uh, graph of um, f of x equals e to the x or y equals e to the x. And I've located three points, and there's a reason for those three points, uh, just to demonstrate the fact that uh, uh, this is the inverse over here. Now, what we have here is the function uh, e to the x, or I'll call it y equals e to the x. And the other curve over here is the inverse of that. And remember, one way to get inverses is to switch x and y. So if I switch x and y in this, I would get x equals e to the power of y. Now if you take that and solve for y, you have to employ or use a logarithm to do that. So the way you rearrange that and put it in logarithmic form, which is really solving for y, is the exponent y is equal to the logarithm base e, because the base of this is e, of x. Now log base e is called ln, and that's what's called the natural logarithm. The natural logarithm is a logarithm base e. So when I write g of x equals ln x, it's the same as the log base e of x. So that's why this curve is the inverse of this curve. Okay, so they're not the same function. They're related because they're inverses. Uh, another, I switched x and y to get the uh, inverse over here. Uh, that's why I have these three points. One of the characteristics of uh, inverses is they have uh, mirror image points that x and y are switched. And so for example, a is the point uh, 0 0.7 comma 2.1. So we have a point a prime on here, which would be 2.1.7. Okay, notice that x and y are switched. b is the point 2.18 because uh, uh, e to the power of 2.1 is approximately 8. All these are just rounded, they're not exact. And so if the point 2.1 comma 8 is on the original e to the x function, on the inverse would be the point 8 comma 2.1. Um, I showed in the calculator that uh, e cubed was just over 20, uh, so that's the point 3 comma 20. So on the inverse over here would be the point 20 comma 3. So uh, that's what the ln function looks like, and it's the same shape as any logarithmic function because it is log a log. Now a couple of properties of logs which transfer over to lons because ln is a log. Uh, first of all, ln is ln x is defined to be logarithm base e of x. Now, one of the properties of logarithms is that if you have a logarithm, and I'll write this up here. For example, if I had the logarithm, and I call the base a of a to the x. So the logarithm of a power that has the same base. So here's the power in the brackets, has the same base as logarithm. Then that's just equal to the exponent in that power, x. And so that transfers into lons as ln base, ln is base e. So the ln of e to the x equals x because this is really right here log base e. So the base of the ln and the base of the power are the same, so that's why it just equals x. So the ln of e to the x equals x. Uh, another property of logarithms is if you have a raised to the power of the logarithm base a of x, that is equal to x. So in, if we transfer that over to lons, um, e raised to the power of ln x is just equal to x. Because again, this is logarithm base e. So in the first example here, we're asked to simplify the ln of e to the x plus 2 ln e to the x. Well, uh, up here this says the ln of e to the x equals x, so this is just equal to x, and this would be 2 times x, because that's another x there. So that actually would just simplify to 3x. 
So this complicated ln e to the x plus 2 ln e to the x is actually equal to 3x. So that's the simpler version of that ln expression. In example 2, we're going to ask to evaluate e to the 4th. And just like I did in the calculator a moment ago, I did uh, e cubed. We would do it the same way. And this is what it looks like in my graph and calculator. e raised to the power of 4 is 54.598, etc. So that's what e to the 4th is approximately equal to. If we want to find the ln of 20, and it's just a calculator exercise, it would look like this in my calculator. The ln of 20 is just under 3, 2.99. Okay? So uh, that's what the ln of 20 is.